Welcome to another UEN Teacher Tip. I'm Val O'Brien, and today we are talking about a tool that teachers can use to aid in student conceptualization. In order to move beyond rote memorization and superficial learning, it is important to support students in conceptualizing the things they are learning. Having students create a visual often helps in the process of conceptualization. In math classes, this can look like students making models of their thinking and reasoning. In science, this can look like making diagrams as part of the sense-making process. In ELA and other languages, this can look like dissecting out composed parts and identifying how each part drives meaning. The new Lucid integration in Canvas is a great tool for making visuals that can lead to deeper understanding and conceptualization. Let's check it out. Let's start by opening up our Canvas course. You may have noticed on the left-hand menu, Lucid appears as an option. Let's click on it, and that's one way to access our Lucid dashboard. If you log in for the first time, it might ask you to connect your Lucid and your Canvas accounts. If so, go ahead and click connect. You will see a button that says explore Lucid, as well as other links here that can provide extra help. For now, let's click on Explore Lucid. It will open Lucid in a new tab and you will see a button in the upper left-hand corner that says New. You can click on that New button. You can start a brand new Lucid chart, a Lucid Spark, or find a template that already exists. Lucid has templates that you can start with to expedite that creation process. I'm gonna come back to Home and I have a chart here Here's a Lucid Spark I created that I want my students to work on to help them understand multiplying fractions. Now that I have my Lucid Spark or Lucid Chart already created, I'm going to come back to Canvas and make a Canvas assignment. Let's go to Modules. I can just use my Module 1 and I'm going to click the plus sign to create a new assignment. Lucid Spark Fractions. Here's my brand new assignment right here. I'm gonna click on it. We will click on Edit in the right-hand corner. I can type some instructions here in this text field. And I have a couple of other settings below that I can modify how many points I want this assignment to be worth, if I want the points to display as points or complete or incomplete. Here is where we connect the Lucid Spark to the assignment. It's under submission type. I'm going to use this pull down menu and I'm going to select Lucid. Now you'll see this gray button appear. Go ahead and click on that button. Now you have two options. You can upload a Lucid Spark or a Lucid Chart. I created a Lucid Spark, so I'm going to hit, click on that and then next. And since I already have my Lucid Spark created, I'm going to find it in my documents. So I'm going to click on that and then click on next. And I should see my Lucid Spark here in my documents. I found it. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on select. There's a couple more settings down here that we want to fill out. Make sure that you assign this to your students. Maybe you're assigning it to everyone. Maybe you're assigning it to specific students. Give them a due date and then you can hit save and publish. Now you will see your Lucid Spark populate right there on the Canvas page. You can see your instructions at the top that help students know what to do. Please keep in mind that when you give your students a Lucid Spark or a Lucid Chart through an assignment in Canvas, it's going to create a copy for every single student and they will be working on their own copy. When they submit their assignment, it's going to be a PDF image of what they created in Lucid Spark or Lucid Chart and you'll be able to see it right in SpeedGrader. Give the Lucid integration in Canvas a try and watch your students take their learning deeper. Thanks for joining us and see you next time for another UEN teacher tip.